hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're a returning subscriber take a big hug but if you're new on this channel please you know what to do guys click on that subscribe button because you're going to learn a lot on this channel all right so in this tutorial we're going to be talking about text animation all right so first of all we click on our text icon here which is the C or you hit the T button on your keyboard whichever one you want all right so yes we have that okay so once you type the um, text you want to put on our design okay so let's type that I want to make it better. Your the the For this one, I want to take to go to the second one, so we click on our enter. All right, so I want to put our um, captivating word here. All right, so to do that, and those are the words that we want to animate basically. Okay, so we click out and this duplicates this our text. Control, control D. Okay, I do this duplicate. All right. So the first word you want to put here is secure. Secure. All right. Okay, we have it. Is on the same, you have to measure it to be sure that it's on the same line with this and the one on beside. Okay, uh -huh. to ensure proper alignment. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is to put our color just to make it different from the other. Um, text okay because this is our captivating word here we are still going to add other words okay all right so i want to make it gradient all right okay so let's make it gradient so what we do here is um, we look for color okay I can like this alright let me try out another one here okay Add another. Okay, let's make that pink. So the reason why I'm doing this is because I already have like on uh, the page I want to put it. So these are the relevant colors. Okay, so you might be wondering why am I putting multicolor multicolor on the text? It's because I already have 
a design I want to put it on and um, we have all these colors on it okay so the next one just this okay all right and then Alright, I think they are fine now, so I want to turn it this way. So you might just put your own as a solid um, color because it depends on what you actually want for this you might just put like uh, a solid color but me for me i want gradient okay i want gradient okay so once you've done that so the next thing you want to do is to put all the red other capsulating words okay so you come here you put your cursor here and you click and you press enter okay so that your cursor will jump to the next line okay so here i want to put some um, reliable reliable enter again faster I think is there. Okay. Here. The rest of the Okay. Okay, so we have it all right so the next thing we are going to do is to make this as frame all right so what you do is you right click on the selected word okay then you come to frame selection all right you can see it frame selection okay so you click on it so once you've done that the next step is for you to go to this panel then you click you click your um, clip content okay clip content can you see all right so then you can move your frame up okay you can rename your your frame here to whatever you want it to be. whatever you want to rename it to be. you can rename your frame to whatever you want to rename it to be. okay but i'm okay with this all right so then you take it off you take your frame off 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 we go off we go okay i think we are good all right so what you do next is you since this is selected now you press down your control key then you click on the other text so what you do is select your secure then you press down your shift key and select your the other text all right so once you've done that then you right click again to frame both so that they can become one okay so you click on your frame selection again all right so there we have it all right 
So the next thing you're going to do is you control D to duplicate what you have here. Control D. Alright. And you bring it down. Okay. Alright. Then you select your secure. Alright. Then the next step is you want to push the word that is here. You want to push it up because you already have secure here. So you want the next word to show here. Okay. So once you click and you have this your frame. Okay. So the next thing you do is you go to your arrow button. You click on the upper the arrow hop okay to bring out the next word so you can see that it's coming out okay so once you bring it out to know that you actually align to this other text okay you can use your height to measure it right or better still you can just come to this place and then you bring it outside the frame to see if you are on line or not okay from what i'm seeing here i think we are good to go just one just one step ahead Okay, we are good to go okay so we are online okay so now we can bring back our frame we can bring it in okay so another thing you're going to do is we click on the main um, text again then we control we control d all right to duplicate and you bring it down okay so we do the same thing we click we double click on this all right we double click on this and we go to our arrow key the up arrow key then we click to shift reliable up so that we can bring faster up. okay all right okay so for us to know that we are on track so what we do is we come here again we bring it out to see if we are on track Let's take it up a bit. I think we still need to pick it up a bit. Okay. So now you can see that this is on this carpet. You can see the A behind and this E. They are on the same line. Okay. So that's all you know that you are on track. You are online. Okay. So let's bring back this. Let's bring it here then we shift it to this other side. Okay. So the next so we have like um four words. Okay, let's bring out the last one. So we click here again, we repeat the same thing, control D. Okay, let's bring it out. Alright click here okay then we go to our upper arrow then we click to bring out our easier all right easier okay let's confirm again are we on track are we on track so I think let's take it up a bit just one step okay so we are on track let's take it down all right oh 
okay so we are done with this so the next thing we're going to do is we click well we select everything we can click individually and press down your shift key to select everything one after the other but you can also select everything at once okay so we selected everything at once all right so the next thing we're going to do is we come to our component the drop down arrow we have here where we have freight components we come to the drop down arrow then we click then we go to our create content set create content set okay so we click on the create content set to make this variant okay so if not if you have not watched my if you have not watched my video on variants um you can search for it so that you know what variant is all about all right so then it was waste time with that you need to know about variants i've done a video for that just go and check it and watch the video okay so now we have this in four variants all right okay so the next thing we're going to do is the prototype what we have here okay so we select we select this okay then we connect what we have here to this next one okay so we come to on click here we change it to after delay okay so we put it to 800 milliseconds then our smart animate okay want it to be on smart animate okay so here we want it to be on easing ease out you can decide to put your own to ease out back ease out alone ease in whichever one you want fine okay all right so we want it to be at 600 milliseconds so we are fine we are good to go okay so we connect the next one the same way we've done the first one okay so we change it to after the day 800 smart animate using is out 600 we're fine okay we connect the next one all right okay all right so here we have change it to after delay okay so we have um smart animate is in it as 200 milliseconds okay let's take this up with this so that we can see the next one okay so we connected this so we want to connect this last one all right okay so click on it connect it to the first one the very first one okay all right so we change it to after delay all right same thing smart animate is in is out 600 or 800 is there so we are good to go guys all right okay so the next thing is we want to go and bring what we've designed from assets and we place it on our design okay so let's do that all right guys so this is our design okay so let's bring our animated uh, text and place it on our design so what we do is we come to asset okay asset okay let's click on asset all right so you can see we have it here so we just drag it and place it on our design all right okay so let's align it very well all right so let's align it very well okay align. okay 
I want to see the space from between this to this. I want it to be um, 165. So for me to do that, you click on the text, then you go on this other text, you just over on it and you press down your um, hot key. Okay, first one, two, three, four. Okay, so we are on one sixty five, so we are good. Okay, all right, so let's go and play it just to see how it's going to look like, guys. So, this is the outcome of our text animation. Okay, so if you have any question, please kindly put it in the comment section. All right. So, and if you're new on this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Click on that um, subscribe button, and also don't forget to put on your notification button so that whenever we post, YouTube can notify you. Okay. Thank you very much, and see you in my next video.